All right, the next posture that we do, we, we call it the sumo posture because it's based on sumo wrestling. Move over a little bit. Sumo wrestlers come out to begin their bouts and they do their warm ups like this hands under the thighs, down right above the knee. And then you lift the leg up like this. And the idea is to lift your leg up without closing your knees together. To lift your leg up like this. And don't let, the, the, don't let your legs close and then come up, right? So you get yourself and you pick yourself up like that, right? And now you'll see how we've developed this. Victoria will demonstrate the one we use for vocalizing, okay? Her, her breath, again, is way down on lower back. Her pelvis is tucked under, right? See that? All bent under, and that's pulling. It's elongating the spine, and the breath is filling up way down here in the lower ribs, okay? I'll demonstrate it for you. See that? Then she extends the leg out, and the foot turns over like that. In martial arts, they call that part of the foot right there the knife edge of the foot. So you want to get so your foot turns down, you see that? And then you vocalize. <laughs> You'll notice that the back, because of the posture now, her back is squeezing together, and all of her breath is being pressed up here against the front of her diaphragm, which sits right there in her body, right? That's why the old ladies, they call this the point of leaning, the punta de poggio, because the front of the diaphragm sits right there, right? So you take a deep breath, do it again. You see that? Now this lady extends out, the foot turns over, and, for, and, and those of you who are very limber, you can go up and up until you can't stand anymore, you can have a friend do this for you, and then if it gets too much, don't do it. Some people can't get near this high, right? You just start doing it, you'll find you'll get more and more limber, and you can stretch better, and when you do this exercise, it pulls these tendons apart and lowers your center down into your core, and it makes you much, much more grounded and more solid and creates bioelectric energy than in the Orient they call chi or ki. And the, the fact that you're pulling your legs apart like that and your center is being pulled down, it creates energy, a lot of energy, and helps you sing. And if you do this one a lot, you can say you sing without fatigue, right? So the idea is to be able to sing without getting tired. And this is one of the best cures for people that have fatigue when they sing, right? Center deep down in your core, and you get more energy. And that's the sumo posture. 